Hello everyone. Today I wanted to do something a little different and show you my tools and my systems that I have in place to help me get things done in 2019. But first, if you are new, my name is Shay and on my channel I typically post healthy meal options as I get myself and my family in shape with a new lifestyle. Also, weight loss updates but really anything that may be interesting to me. Hence, this is why we are doing this planning video today. If you are not new, welcome back. So, like I said, today I want to talk about these beauties right here, all three of them. And so what I'm gonna do, I don't, I don't wanna make the, the video too long, but what I wanna do is honestly go through um, these two, not, so much this one um, this is my power sheets and I've already done a video review and feedback on this particular planner and if you would like to see that um, I'll link that video just hit the eye up in the corner there and um, you can get a little bit more detail on this one but I wanted to show this one along with these two um, just so that you can see the complete system that I have set up um, for myself. And honestly, I took about two to three weeks in early December to really hone in and um, get everything set up the way that I thought I would want it set up. I didn't really wanna be giving too much time to it at the beginning of the year because I, I had other goals that I wanted to really just jumpstart once the new year started. We're gonna quickly just go through things. So I'm gonna set my power sheets down. Like I said, look at that video in the link. And I'm gonna set my bullet journal down as well. But what I want to talk about first is this lovely case here. I purchased this from Erin Condren. It is a part of her focus line. It is the charcoal or gray leather folio that she has. I got it on Black Friday or maybe it was Cyber Monday. And this was not the one that I wanted, but all of the regular ones were sold out. And so was the black. So I ended up going with this one. And I actually do love it. The leather is really, really soft. Um, it is a snug fit for those of you that may be interested. And I'll zip it just to show you. Bear with me. Like I said, it's, it's snug. You have to make sure all those corners are in. But as you can see, it fits in just perfect, but no extra room. So it has a pocket here. And honestly, I can't put anything in here because I need all the space. Because if I close it, as you can see, it's snug. So I can't really put anything in here. However, what is in here are the little cards that came with my power sheets. This is my word for the year. And this is just a card that came with um, the power sheets that says, you know, all those things you've always wanted to do, you should go do them. So I just keep them here very close so I can look at them when, when it's necessary because, you know, sometimes I do need that extra kind of support just mentally for myself. Now, on to this beauty. Um, I did an unboxing. If you would like to see the unboxing, I will also link that one. Just hit the I in the upper screen. But what I want to show you now is actually how I set it up. All of my stickers that I plan on using are in this little sleeve here. I did get the dots and the flags. I have some Chrissy Ann design flags that I had before. Some transparent dots from Chrissy Ann's. Also some additional Emily Lay stickers that I picked up at Target and my perpetual calendar. Here, what I decided to do is, um, just to keep myself on task, I just got some cardstock from Michaels, and I put things that I am trying to um, force myself to do daily. Um, I have to fill out my cleaning days on what things in the household that I wanna clean personally, and then what the kids also want to clean, and I'll do that before the new year. That just kinda is a system to help me, something really quick, to know this is what you need to be doing on specific days or on a weekly basis. Um, so yeah, I think that's a good tip. You should try it. So what I did is I went through each month and decorated just the monthly spreads. 
Um, I love stickers and I love to see other people's planners with that are that have taken the time and decorated their weekly, their monthly, and their daily spreads. But let's just be honest, I don't have the time to do that. I work full time outside of the house. I have two kids. I have a house that I have to manage. I just do not have time on top of Girl Scouts and extracurricular activities that my kids are involved. But I do love to plan. So I just took the time at the beginning when I first got it just to put in all of the birth dates, all the important dates, um, do a theme color for each month that kind of corresponds to the tab of the um, the simplified planner here. But as you can see, this is just what I did. That the fancy. I achieved this with just regular washi tape that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I kept it really simple and really, really pretty to me. At least I think it's pretty and festive when it was or when it is necessary. The one thing I do like about this simplified planner is that it is simple. For me, I need things that aren't going to complicate my everyday routines because once they start getting complicated, I get flustered and then I will quit, which I mentioned in my previous video with the simplified power sheets. I definitely recommend you guys going over and look at that, but it is really just writing your to-dos, your day, blocking off work, and filling in anything else that may be necessary for you. Here, I have my gratitude for the day, and I got that, honestly, from this little boy, or this little girl, whatever you wanna say. I got this with my power sheets when I made my order, and what I like about it is it is a word of a day, or write the word every day, and it tells you to list one thing that you're grateful for, and it also asks you for a word every day so when i do this in the morning i just actually go over here and put the same word up here at the top so i'm not forgetting um, my word for the day based off of scripture as well as what i said i am grateful for each and every day it's just repetitive and i am a person that i um, like to see and hear words of encouragement in order for me to do my best so that is my way or one of my ways in order to do so. This little buddy here, it just helps me draw lines when I'm blocking off on my work day. And this came from um, a previous Inkwell Press planner that I purchased probably a couple of years ago, but it fits well. And honestly, that's it. The next thing I wanna go over is my bullet journal. And what I plan on using my bullet journal for is um, my YouTube content as well as my meal planning. I found what worked for me as far as meal planning last year was just to sit down a few days before the weekend or Friday the day before the weekend um, when I knew I would go out cooking and I would just get three meats um, that I would decide to cook for the next upcoming week and write those down. So I decided to go with a bullet journal. I picked it up from Michaels. It's just one of those $5 notebooks that they carry there, um, the everyday value. And I did that because I wanna make sure that I'm gonna stick to this and this is gonna work before I go out and spend unnecessary money on more or a better quality bullet journal, such, such as a Lustrum, Lustrum's, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Done the same thing here. This is what I need to be doing monthly when it comes to YouTube content, as well as other things that I just don't want to forget about monthly. Right here I say power sheets, tending sheet, um, date with the hubby, which is not content related, but it is something that I want to do on a monthly basis. Um, things that I need to be doing daily, daily affirmations, daily prayer and devotion, morning pages, taking my medication, a nightly routine, planning my next day out, love on my family, and looks like I have a duplicate there. And what I should be doing weekly is meal planning, um, meal prep for family meals. The reason I did that is because I am following Whole30. And that's something that really worked for me and it made my body feel really, really good. But it's slightly different from what my husband and my kids eat. So that's why they're both there. Picking kids clothes out for the upcoming week, reading with them and uploading YouTube videos on a weekly basis. And then on the back here, I have a YouTube checklist 
which are all the things that I need to make sure that I do consistently for each YouTube video that I upload. Now to get into it, it does have an index page. I chose not to do an index page because I don't really think it's something that I'm gonna utilize, but that may change. It is here in case I do decide to use it, but I didn't leave all of them blank, just two. And then on this first one, it's just a list, a list of sides that we commonly eat. So I don't have to think about it. I just know to look here and make one of these things as a side dish during the week. And then on this side, it is a list of my proteins or my meat. So again, take all of the guesswork out of it, just have it written down and flip to this page when I'm getting ready to plan my weeks for the next week and pick two or three of them, depending on how busy the week, maybe up to four, four proteins if I feel like cooking four days during the week. And so here is just the first page with my word of the year. Um, consistent. I just want to make sure that I'm staying consistent this year for myself. And I love my little handwriting here. I'm trying to do hand lettering or learn it little by little. Um, Cause again, we know I have an issue with that instant gratification. If it doesn't come quick, you know, I'm bailing out, but that's not going to be the case for 2019. So I'm going to be consistent with learning how to hand letter as well in my spare time. So here I have just a year at a glance. Nothing fancy, but it's there in case this is the only book I have and I need to um, find a date. Here is just a brain dump page and it's just that. Now here is one page that I am really liking. It is my affirmations page, um, positive affirmations. And so what I do, or what I try to do, is every day sit down and think of at least one to five things that I like about myself or are encouraging words for my future self. And I have just written those down. And if you can see it, it's just, um, just written down. And then I have like stars in the different colors in between each new one. So... I think it's cute and I like it. If you know anything about bullet journals, then they say you should have a future log. And honestly, I made it, but I don't know if it's going to be sufficient for me because I have this brain dump as well. So maybe if I run out of space, space here on the brain dump, then I'll come to the future log and start filling those in. I just did um, eight months right now, not all 12 months, because I don't think the 12 months need to be in here right now because I'm pretty sure that this is going to not last a full year for me. And then I just have ideas here on dinners that I would like to pray or prepare or try. So this is just my ideas page, books that I would like to read, encouraging books. Um, just again, this is just for my self care and podcasts. I sit in traffic a lot. Sorry guys sit in traffic, so I like to listen to encouraging words while I'm sitting in my three hour commute, that's total. And then here is how I like to upload videos. And so what I thought I would do is I have these little sticky notes. These are the videos that I would like to record and these are the dates that I would like them to go up on once I Upload and schedule those. I take it off and then I write it in here. So that's how I'm deciding to do video content. And then last but not least is how I am doing my meal planning. So with meal planning, like I said, all I need is a week of. This week of 12.30 um, through 1.5, these are the two meats that I am planning on making. It's a list of all the ingredients that I would need in order to make it and a shopping list below where I would basically just take this little notebook with me and I would be able to indicate, oops, lost my page, indicate what items I need from the grocery store. Now, when I have more than two meats that I'm actually going to be using, it'll be taking up two pages 
and then I have a shopping list that I actually will be using on the side. So those are my planners and my system for 2019 and I think that I have everything in place in order for me to get my goals accomplished, to get myself on a routine. Cause the one thing that I found out is that I'm, I do best when I am setting a habit and I'm doing it repetitively. And that may be the case for a lot of people, but that is just something that I have learned that I do more when I have a system in place and I have something holding me accountable. And so, yeah, that's it. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this was helpful. If it was, definitely leave me a comment below. Share some of the things that you have in place in order for you to meet goals, um, whatever kind of goals they are for 2019. Remember to subscribe to the channel. If you um, like the content or you wouldn't mind subscribing, hit the notification bell. And also follow me over on my Instagram. That's at Shay's country kitchen. So until next time, you all have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye-bye.